Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chin Valdez and today we will be talking about our Agi Lord Knight. Alright, so right off the bat, I want to talk about our equipment choice. So I know that some people would prefer to go for tier set for more damage. No, because you are going for an Agi Lord Knight to deal damage. But it's always been my philosophy that you deal more damage when you're not dead. So I have decided to go for Goibnis set so that I can be more tanky when we're in the team fights, we're in, we're in clashes, and of course we're using the Muromasa no, for for our crit build. Now I am planning to go Paladin uh, when it drops in on June 21. So we are preparing not to slowly transition to that build. So we're trying to get as much agility and crit as we can. But for our Lord Knight. Now we have our Goibne set, our Watermelon Hat, Doram Pipe, Luna Glyph, our Crit Rings. Uh, I do have one Bongon card equipped. No, so it will give me that auto bash when I'm normal attacking. And I have three Cobbled cards equipped for more strength, more crits. For weapon cards, you would go for size, element, and race cards, no, usually. But for PvP, I like going for cards that will give me more status effect well my choice is stun and i guess this one is curse for the head you normally go for the cramp card uh for face cards i have goblin chief puppet cards well you don't really have much choice here now do we like we only have the angel and puppet cards for the mouth piece card we get a choice between going for deviling puppet cards or the golden thief bug puppet cards i went with the golden thief bug card i just changed it up actually today <laughs> For our armor card, we went with the Savage card no? because it's easier to get than the Peko Peko card and it still gives me 8.5% max HP. For the muffler, we went with the Choco card and for the shoes, we went with the Matir card. For stats, we just get enough agility to help us get up to 500 attack speed. So I went with 70 agility. Right? This is enough to get me up to 500 attack speed after buffs. And I went for 80 luck and 39 strength at the moment at level 83. Now, which gives us, well, right now, before buffs, before using any skills whatsoever, we have a base 3121 physical attack, 246 base attack speed, and 134 base flip. Now, all of these things will go up later on now, as we use our skills, as we use concentration, as we get blessing and, and food buffs and whatnot. For the skills, we have bash. Sword Mastery and Increase Recovery all at level 10. We have Magnum Break at level 5, Fatal Blow at level 5, Provoke at level 5, and Endure at level 3. For the second job, we have Riding, of course, level 1, level 5 Cavalier Mastery, level 10 Sword Quicken, 5 Bowling Bash, 10 Vanguard, and 1 Charge Attack. For the trans second job, we have concentration at level 10, head crush at 5, joint beat at 1, aura blade at 10, berserk at 5, and right now parry is sitting at 8, which will level up level 9 when we hit job 40. For feathers, it's just the usual. Now we're going for 4 gold, 1 purple, 4 gold, 1 purple. Now I haven't been too lucky with uh, various cores, so I'm only using one Dimic core right here because it has momentum management module which will help us hit 500 attack speed as our normal attacks rank up we're using mana length reversal divine empowerment dauntless order and strength so for sigils this is relatively new so i'm not yet very fami familiar with it but this is what i have equipped at the moment i have aura en enchantment i have unexpected rescue i have deadlock aurora immortal body Blowing shield and my active sigil is ancient power. So right now we've set our training the dummy to earth, large, and brute. So we equip the appropriate cards. We're using a Minoros card and a goblin card. We also consumed a few food buffs. We did take a light concentration potion, a one star strength potion, one star tuna kebab, one star steam crab nippers. All right, so now that you guys have seen the build. Let's see how much damage we do. So I think we're hitting around steady 350, almost 400 DPS without Berserk. 
with Berserk. We're hitting around 450. No, around 450, 490 DPS. 500. No, so we're hitting around 500 DPS. So it's kind of ramping up. It takes time for Lord Knights to build up their DPS. But if you build them right, no, you can still be pretty competitive when it comes to DPS. This is our guild's time space scores and here we are you now right at the top with our agility lord knight and here are also the stats from one of our recent guild leagues where we scored the most number of kills so i've always mentioned these things you now in all the games that we play that you can deal more damage when you're not dead you can always opt to go for things that increase your dps but at the end of the day if you're dead your dps becomes zero you no know? so may it be our equipment or our sigils or our skills. Now we're always going for something that will help us survive a fight because we are playing against other players, right? So we're not going for the tier set. No, we're going for the Goibne set for the equipment. We're making sure that we have our parry skill and we also chose sigils that will ensure that we survive a fight. All right, so if you guys wanna see more of our Lord Knight, right before we transition into our Paladin on June 21, be sure to subscribe and we also go live on facebook.com slash TV. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Putik, goy, goy ben pala yun? Goy ben set? <laughs> goy ben amp? <laughs>